Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to this, another brand new day, where no matter who you are, you are valid. And today, I have my Die in the Dungeon game up on this long side with a bottle of soda holding, holding my tablet up from behind. So, yay for professional, you know, uh, the photography equipment. Anyway, brand new day, 2024. Happy New Year. And I'm going to talk about this because I have seen a bunch of misconceptions about this online and I've watched a few videos about this where, you know, it's like Mickey Mouse is in the public domain. No, no. Steamboat Willie is in the public domain and only a very, very, very thin sliver of Steamboat Willie is in the public domain. Not Mickey Mouse, Steamboat Willie. And even at that, it's the same thing that happened with Winnie the Pooh. If you're gonna use Winnie the Pooh in any sort of visual media, you're hosed, trademarks. Yes, the copyright lapsed, but trademarks are cheap and corporations have billions. You ever wondered why there hasn't been a flood of Winnie the Pooh stuff? No one can make them. You can't do it in the Winnie the Pooh font because that's been trademarked. The colors, trademarked. That red thing that Winnie the Pooh wears, trademarked. The way the name is written, trademarked. If you're going to do something with Winnie the Pooh, you have to do it like that horror movie where it was Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. And they had to stay well away from everything that Disney had trademarked. Same thing with Steamboat Willie. If you use Mickey Mouse, the hammer of God is coming down on you. A very, very thin sliver of Steamboat Willie is available. Everything else is trademarked. Yeah, when copyright lapses, that's nice. But it only costs like 250 bucks a year for a corporation worth billions to keep up all these trademarks. And they last for, well, as long as you keep paying, they'll never stop. So thumbs up for that. Yeah, it's a, uh, corporations like Mark Zucker Zuckerberg, through his corporation, has trademarked the word face. If you work in tech, you can't use the word face unless you want a multi-billion dollar corporation to come down on you with the hammer of God. And so many corporations are in a race to do that. They are trademarking so many just everyday words. You can't get into business. How are you going to pay all of these corporations the millions of dollars that they would want for a name? Thumbs up for that. Past that, though, uh, I have just been surviving. With the equipment that I have, I'm not really going to be able to do a better job of my table setup that I did for Final Girl yesterday. And with the light that I have, that's just a light over my sink. And that is just a bright light right up in this, not even the center of this room, off to the, to the side. I have nothing to block that. I have nothing to block that. I need to block those if I'm going to do recording of like games because they are just spotlights. <sighs> and of course, the way that I have to record right now, if I'm going to record game stuff, I have to use my PlayStation camera. But I can't really move my PlayStation out far, far enough that it's not going to be pulling the cord on the back of the thing where the camera's plugged in. And I don't want to damage my 10-year-old PlayStation 4. So, right now, I have to put a table in front of that table so that I can put things on either side so I can stretch a curtain so I can tape my PlayStation camera to it. Because of all that, the camera is in wonky angles. And it's just, if you watch the video, you could see how everything is skewed because the camera is like tilted and at an angle like that. But it was the closest I could get to being flat in my current situation. So, what I'm hoping to do, 
is to get another surface where I can get two curtain rods to dangle between two things on either end and then I can put this tablet here and dangle it between the two curtain rods with its rear camera to record down below. This front facing camera is nice but it is a 30 frames per second not that many megapixels camera. You can see the graininess in a fair number of my videos. The rear camera does its higher speed, like 50 frames per second, and it does, it's in higher, and in higher resolution, so it's good stuff all around. But that means I need to dangle it so that, hang it so that it's got the camera hanging down, which means I need to dangle it in such a way on top of the curtain rods so that the camera doesn't get blocked by anything. So, I need to get the other curtain rod. I get the need to get the better things to stand at one end so I can have the two curtain rods. Uh, I need blockers for these things. This is going to be a little while. I can't do it yet. Payday isn't to, for a couple more days, but I'm going to... It's not going to be a lot of money, but it's going to be some. And then there's, I want to get more of one or two of the expansions for this. I want to get an expansion for Final Girl. I want to get a final Fable Lands game book. There's more of the Mike Lambeau game books. There's all sorts of stuff that I want to get. Of course, I also need to eat. <laughs> and such like that, so it's I'm gonna have to slow down on my purchases, yay. Past that though, I have just been surviving. Yesterday did not do much. I stayed in all day. I don't like this bad weather stuff. I wanna go out. I stayed in all day. And then I just made it to Walmart and back. Yeah, you know, like a mile and a half total. Ugh. So, I've been out just to get out today. Didn't walk far, but at least I got out. I'm gonna continue hopefully doing so before the end of the night or day. You know, so it's not as late as it was yesterday. I wanna make it so it's that four mile round trip and that'll be good. I'd like to play some games. It has been some time since I played anything but Greedland. Uh, I want to do more of. Well, I need to get the play mats for such like this because with the slickeriness of my tables right now, the stuff slides around so much that I can't really play stuff like that. Yay! <laughs> life is life. Life is life. Past that though, I'm just gonna keep doing what I can do. And hopefully you're gonna keep doing what you can do. I need to call up the Veterans Administration tomorrow. My therapist gave me a call. I need to try and get some wheels moving. Thumbs up for that. So, hopefully you're gonna have a great day. And then hopefully you enjoy the Final Girl table setup. I didn't do a very good job of explaining the rules. There are a lot of rules. But hopefully I did a good enough job if you watched it. Thumbs up for that. So, until we meet again, uh, actually first, <laughs> I wish to thank each and every one of my Patreon patrons. You are beautiful and awesome people. Definitely a good thing. I appreciate the help that you give me to no end. I would be a hurting monkey without it. I'm not sure how much of a hurting monkey because I have to survive this next month which with the added money that I get from my cost of living increase, I was here. My cost of living increase bumped me up to here. Because I got brought up to here, I have to pay for more things which brings me down lower before, far, far lower than where I was because now I can pay for more. So I pay for so much more. You get an extra 30 bucks. So now you gotta pay 300. Anyway though, thank you, it is appreciated. And for everybody that leaves me comments, thank you 
thumbs up. It is appreciated. I read each and every one of them, even if I cannot go through and actually respond to them. Executive function for the win. Past that, I have just been thinking of my creative stuff, doing my very, very best. So now, until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, and that is indeed a very good thing. So, uh, even though I have this here, I could reach forward and pretend to do this sort of stuff, but not. Nah, I just, uh, yeah. So, I'll see you later.